Hello everyone, it's Teacher Lena here and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you how you can use OBS in your iTutor group uh, classroom. Because I have just started teaching with iTutor group, I did not want to buy an expensive background. Some people have bought banners that can be kind of costly or I, I didn't want to um, print out sheets which I did for my test but you can print out sheets and, and tape them together and that could be another way you can have your background but I wanted to use chroma key and when I did chroma key in Manicam it didn't work very well so it was very fuzzy and I didn't like the picture so I tried it tried to do it in OBS and I loved the picture much better than I did in Manicam so I wanted to share with you how to do that just in case any of you are having the same problem so here it is my green background that you can either buy green screen background or you can use green paper you can use wrapping paper you can use teach teacher the poster board that you buy for your classrooms you can use that poster board or, or bulletin board paper any any kind of green paper that's all you need so that's that's where you start and then over here in the scenes area this is where you would begin so if you if you don't have OBS actually let's let's back up a little bit if you don't have OBS first I'm going to show you here how you would get OBS I simply typed in OBS on the computer um, in Google I selected OBS here and it brought me to their web page you can download OBS depending on what kind of computer you have if you have Windows, which I had, you select it, and then it'll walk you through the steps on how to download it, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I've already done it. So you can go ahead and do that, and then when you get to this point, then you would start with scenes, and you would not have any scenes, but I have scenes because I do different stuff with OBS already, and I have my iTutor group scene. But if I wanted to make a new scene, I would press this button right here, and the scene just means what am I going to be recording? Am I going to be recording from a camera? Am I going to be recording an image? Will I be recording a slideshow? Will I be recording, what else can you record? Your, your computer screen, you can use your whole computer screen and record. People who are into recording gaming, they can do that using OBS. So I want to add a new scene. So this is, my, this is what it looks like, add a scene. And I can name it new like that so this is my new scene it is black there is nothing there I have to go to sources if I want to add something so I'm going to add my video capture device here and since I already have one selected it automatically gives me video capture device 2 if I press on OK then I can come to this screen and I can choose what I want to use for my video capture device and for this I would want to use my my Logitech and because I'm already using it in a different window you're not going to see it but here in this iTutor group scene you can see the video capture device right here that's me if I press on this eyeball I go away but if I open it up that's me I'm going back to the new scene and I want to add an image because I want to get my image for my iTutor group background so I want to press image and I already have some images that I've used but since we're doing this from scratch let's go ahead and find an image I can press browse and I can find the picture that I want to use I don't want to open up my browser because it will show all of my pictures and other people are in those pictures that I don't want to show right now but um, if you don't have an I group group I tutor group picture stored in your computer this is what you could do. You can go to the internet. You can also get it from your iTutor group orientation um, packet or they will show you exactly when they give you that my page. It'll give you all your orientation information. You can download it from there or you can go to the, the internet. All I did was press iTutor group clip art. You can see it's already showing up. Clip art. And there's my there it is I press on the one that I want to use and then here I can right click it and save my image I'm going to save it into my computer I can title it whatever I want to title it 
when I save it. But I don't want to save it right now because like I said, there are pictures that I don't want to show for everyone to see right now. And um, so that's, that's how I would do it. But since I already have it on my computer, um, I already have the image in this setting right here in the scene. This is me with my camera on, my green screen in the back. I can show you the image that is downloaded here. And let's just, well, let's go to how to change. You don't want to look, have this green in the back, right? You don't want to have the green in the back. But if you press on filters, that, well, what, I, what did I do? I'm sorry. Let me go back. <laughs> I right click on the video capture device. I press filters. I find chroma key. I press on, this is just left, left clicking. I left, left click on chroma key and that brings me out there. I don't have to right click on chroma key. So I left, left click on chroma key and then I press, I, I look for similarities and I slide it out to the right. So my background is grayed out. I don't want it to be green. So there, I don't want me to be black either. So like that. That looks good. And then smoothness will help adjust anything on my face. And it looks pretty smooth. And then the key spill, color spill, will adjust how bright I want my color to be. So I'm done with this. I'm going to shrink this screen a little bit so I can press close here. My settings are saved and there I am. Hmm. I'm very happy with how this looks. Uh, it's a little fuzzy on the side. You can play around with it and get that, have that disappear. Uh, if you do have your hair out, sometimes it gets a little bit fuzzy too. So you have to play around with that so you can um, have a clear, clearer picture. But this worked really well for me. It is free. You can get OBS on the internet for free. Um, so you don't have to pay any money for it and it's very simple to use. So I hope this was helpful. Please, if you have any questions, you can, you can leave a comment down below or you can uh, email me and I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. One more thing I do wanna mention, this red box right here allows you to make yourself bigger or smaller. I don't wanna make myself any bigger or smaller, but I do wanna be careful about my hands going outside of the window. So if you're teaching kids, you know, you, you, you wanna be careful to not lose your hands. Teacher, where'd your hand go? <laughs> so be careful with that. But I'm much happier with this. Like I said, when I was using Manicam, it was not very clear for me, and I don't know why. It's probably something I was doing or not doing. Other people have had much success, but the OBS was very clear. So, all right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.